Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Soccer, and you had one of the packages that was getting you the 3D soccer. 3D soccer is amazing to watch. It is not like being there, but it is very much more immersive than doing just about anything else. Yeah. And you have to give credit to the guys that shoot that stuff because they're down there on the field, they're doing stuff. It's it's very active and engaging. It's not like watching American football where it's like, oh, we're over at the top of them and they're on the line and the little guys move. This is on the field watching people kick with their foot as high as the other guy's head. And watching that in 3D, like my heart went pitter-patter and I was like, wow, this is a great sport. Why have I never watched this before? Hmm. And I'm not a sports person at all, and I know almost nothing about soccer. And I was like, this is really compelling. Um, and there's some nature stuff that I was like, you know, you're watching the elephants, yeah, and cool. they're from a really far away, right. and it's kind of like being there. And you've got the surround, and you're just like, oh, look, there's elephants. Right. And um, when we get to the point that you don't have to wear the glasses, that the audio stere the auto stereoscopic displays start kicking in, they use polarizing on the screen so that each I've eye seen sees those. the stuff. Yeah, but I've seen those right now. They, they're right, really bad. Right now, you have to sit exactly in front of the television. They're getting better at those things. And pretty soon they will have the stuff where they've calculated like wait. 12 views. And you can go like this. And like literally, I will be like, oh, I can see the back of your head. Oh, I can see the back of the other. You know, you can see the stuff that is normally ocular occluded. But shooting wow. that stuff is very expensive because you have up to twenty-four cameras. So how 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 far are we are we from that? That's what I want. Fifteen years. <laughs> okay, I don't want to wait that long. And, and huge production budgets. Think about think about shooting where instead of pointing a camera at the the person in the story and telling the story with the camera setting up an array of cameras and just capturing everything that's going on. Mm -hmm. And it will it will change how storytelling's done because right now the director points the camera at you and says, this is the person, you should be looking at them. And when we get to these arrays of cameras and the ability to move around and look at other things in the shot, you're like, yeah, I'm tired of looking at Chris, I'm gonna look over there at Jake who's holding the camera. All of a sudden, the, the storytelling aspect is going to be changed because I may not be looking at the thing that you're wanting me to look at. Hmm. All right, so if there's someone out there who has a question about anything related to 3D, they could ask us. They can ask us. Leave a comment, and uh, you know we'll be scanning for them because you know I know a lot of people have questions. Should I get a 3D TV? Should I buy this 3D camera? Which 3D is better for this? Which 3D is better for that? And you have the answers. I do. You've written software that does what no other and, software apparently can do. And I've done presentations to several of the people in Hollywood that were studio heads and like, this is why 3D sucks today, but you should be doing it because 3D is not going to suck tomorrow and you're going to kick yourself when you don't have anything in 3D. Fair enough. So this 2D <laughs> video is uh, now at an end, but if you have any questions related to 3D, f feel free to, to leave a comment or uh, drop us a line. Uh, we are team at lockernome.com.